We're back. Welcome to the trailer for the second annual Henry Ford Sinus and Nasal Symposium on October 29th, 2021. Again, hosted by myself, Dr. John Craig, Director of Rhinology, and Dr. Robert Deeb, Director of Facial Plastic Surgery at Henry Ford. We'll have two guest speakers this year who are true masters in their field. On the sinus side, we'll have Dr. Rick Chandra, Professor of Otolaryngology and Director of the Rhinology Department at Vanderbilt University. And on the nasal side, we'll have Dr. Patrick Byrne, facial plastic surgeon, who is a professor and the chair at the Head and Neck Institute at Cleveland Clinic. Similar to last year, we'll have the lectures in the ENR building at Henry Ford Main Campus. Now, we are having an abbreviated half-day agenda this year, but it's jam-packed with quality. The first half of the event will be nasal topics, the second, the sinuses. We'll have a few 15 to 20 minute high yield lectures on various important nasal and sinus topics. But this year we're going to place a greater focus on panels. We have four expert panels on the multidisciplinary management of common and complex nasal and sinus disease. And keep in mind this is an interactive symposium. We really encourage the audience members to ask questions and engage both the panelists and the lecturers. And soon there will be a CME-sponsored final agenda released and posted on our website. And while we're excited to have this in-person event, we will have a hybrid virtual option for those who cannot attend in person. Details on the virtual experience will be provided on our landing page as well as in upcoming email blasts. And like last year, we'll have an excellent group of local and regional speakers. Tap pause and take a look at the roster. And now again, we're going to fire through some of the cases you can expect us to discuss at the symposium. How would you manage this condition? What would you do for this nose to obtain this result? How often do you look in someone's nose and see something like this, then remember to look at these? Could this actually cause right-sided facial pain? Which chronic rhinitis patients respond best to intranasal cryotherapy? What is endoscopic posterior nasal nerectomy, and in which patients might it benefit? Are there still situations where you'd have to expose this nerve and resect a portion of it to treat chronic rhinorrhea? And what different tricks do you have up your sleeve to treat this patient whistling through her nose? Clinical scenarios like these and many more will be discussed at our second annual Henry Ford Sinus and Nasal Symposium. Watch for upcoming emails to register for and join us again for the love of the nose.